molecular molecules of biological relevance, topical synthetic interest, and utility to industry. His research efforts with an impressive degree of innovation and enterprise have led to the synthesis of complex and scarcely available natural products and new molecular entities for affordable healthcare. His endeavors have provided cost-effective technologies to the chemical industry through the identification of new reagents for specific transformations. I welcome you, sir. Now I request Dr. C.H. Mohan Rao to grace the days, please. I welcome you, sir. Dr. Mohan Rao is currently the director of the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology. Dr. Rao combines biophysical, molecular biological, and cell biological approaches to address problems of biomedical importance. He has contributed in enormously in the modern area of science, such as protein folding, molecular chaperones, heat shock proteins, molecular bases for lens transparency, cataract and keratitis, biosensors, DNA-based diagnostics, nanobiology, photoacoustic spectroscopy, and the application to address several biomedical problems. I welcome you, sir. Now I request Professor Dr. Martin Mitwele to grace the dais, please. I welcome you, sir. Dr. Mitwede is the head of department of Ayurveda Medicine, European Academy of Ayurveda. Dr. Mitwede is an expert on Indian philosophy and a scholar of religion and Indology. <laughs> Dr. Mitwede has been contributing to the field of traditional medicine systems for decades now. His postdoctoral thesis was on Ayurveda, and he had been the editor of many journals relating to Ayurveda. Dr. Mitwede has a large number of publications centered on the roots, healing, health, and disease from an Ayurvedic perspective. I welcome you, sir. Now I call upon the days. Dr. Manoj Kumar Sarkar, an IFS officer, and the former additional principal chief conservator of forests of Tamil Nadu Forest Department. I welcome you, sir. <laughs> Dr. Sarkar did extensive studies on the endemic and threatened medicinal plants of India. After the decade-long studies, he proposed a total of 201 taxa from all over India to be incorporated in plant spreading under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. The study has attracted global attention, and the book written by Dr. Sarkar has been recognized by the Convention on Biological Diversity. Dr. Sarkar's vision is to implement the effective biodiversity governance policies in the country for protecting the imperiled plants in the service of mankind and conserving Mother Earth for future generations. I welcome you, sir. Now I request Dr. G. P. V. Subbaya to grace the days, please. I welcome you, sir. <coughs> Dr. Subbaya is the director of Spine Institute Sunshine Hospital at, at Hyderabad. He has been in the fields of orthopedics and spinal surgery for over a decade and has accumulated expertise in minimally invasive spine surgeries. He leads a team of highly experienced specialists dedicated to manage an exclusive spine care program. He envisions the use of plant-based traditional medicines for the complicated subjects of medical science, such as post-surgical healings and pain management. I welcome you, sir. Now, I request Dr. S. Ramakrishna to grace the days, please. I welcome you, sir. Dr. S. Ramakrishna is Principal Scientist at the Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, Hyderabad. 
He is working in the areas of in vitro and in vivo pharmacology screening, use of various animal models for pharmacological screening, novel drug delivery systems for targeting drug specific sites and regulatory toxicology such as acute, subchronic and chronic toxicity testing of drugs. He has worked on the properties of various plant-based extracts and resins and is a front runner in the field of pharmacology. I welcome you, sir. I request Ms. Ms. Aditi Gosavi to grace the days, please. Ms. Gosavi is a senior advisor for public relations and communication at the DAAD Regional Office, South Asia. I welcome you, ma'am. I now request Dr. Sunil Kumar Verma to grace the days, please. I welcome you, sir. Dr. Verma is principal scientist at the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, Hyderabad, an inventor of universal primer technology that can identify species from a small biological sample to detect any of the endangered species of India, from birds to fishes to mammals, to provide, beyond a reasonable doubt, evidence on species identity in the court of law. This technology has revolutionized the field of wildlife forensics and led to the establishment of the first national wildlife forensics cell in the laboratory for conservation of endangered species at Hyderabad. Thank you, sir. May I now request Mrs. Aditi Gosavi to welcome the gathering. 